Where's the body? That is the question a Louisiana widow is asking tonight after she learned of her husband's public autopsy. Good evening, I'm Joyce Taylor. And I'm Greg Copeland. This is just the latest revelation in a King 5 investigation that contains some graphic content. And even though we have blurred out shots of the body, the story may not be suitable for all viewers. The autopsy happened in front of a live paying audience here in the Northwest. Yesterday, we made contact with a widow of the deceased. He was a World War II veteran from Louisiana. His family had no idea what his body was being used for. King 5 investigator Chris Ingalls is in studio now with us with the latest fallout. Chris. Greg Joyce, tonight you'll hear from that widow herself. The various parties behind this autopsy event are now pointing fingers of blame at each other, but in the middle of it all is 92-year-old Elsie Saunders of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, who thought her husband's body had been donated to science. He's on display somehow. It's, uh, I just don't have the words yet to describe how horrible I think it is. Oh, I think it's reprehensible. I think um, that this, they using my husband's body like he's a performing bear or something. That's Elsie Saunders on the phone from Baton Rouge, reacting after she learned from us that her husband's body was dissected in front of a paying audience at the Marriott Hotel in Portland. But he wanted his body to be useful. To science. Mrs. Saunders' late husband, David, had registered to donate his body for medical research at Louisiana State University. No, they would not take it because he had died of the COVID. Somehow, his COVID-infected body ended up with MedEd Labs of Las Vegas, a private for-profit body broker. We did not know it was going to be used for a pain audience. Uh, we don't do that. We don't, we've never done anything like that, ever. Abtin Nasiri of MedEd Labs said the organizer of the event lied to his company about why it wanted to purchase Mr. Saunders' body. We do not engage the donor's bodies in any kind of shows that it was involved with. We, we don't do anything like that. Mortuary science, alternative burial, or really anything having to do with death. A simple web search would have told MedEd Labs that the body buyer, DeathScience.org, is run by Jeremy Siliberto, who has no professional credentials. It was Siliberto who brought the Portland Body Show to life and had planned one for Seattle as well on Halloween Day. Can you guarantee they had knowledge that he knew that his body would be used in this way? I can guarantee that he knew his body would be used for um, medical education. Siliberto so said it was up to MedEd Labs to obtain consent, which clearly did not happen in Portland, and which Elsie Saunders says should never happen again. For other people as well, because, you know, you're totally helpless when you don't know what's happened. And I didn't. I had no idea what happened until you communicated with me. So that question we asked at the top, where is the body? Right now, Elsie Saunders desperately wants to get her husband's remain, remains back, and where are they? The funeral home that she's been dealing with in Baton Rouge believes the body is in Las Vegas at MedEd Labs. The funeral director is making arrangements to bring it back to Louisiana, confirm the identity of the body, and cremate it, all free of charge to the Saunders family. I can't imagine the shock that she must have felt when you contacted her. And then what about what was going on in that ballroom? Because this person, this man had COVID. What yeah. about health risks? Yeah, the health risks, of course. So we did expect to get an update today from the Oregon Health Authority, which we know is looking into this. We didn't get it today. But I did just get a copy of this email from the organizer, deathscience.org, notifying the 40 or so attendees that were in that hotel ballroom that the donor, quote, reportedly had COVID. They blame MedEd Labs for not telling that in advance and strongly encouraging all attendees to get a COVID test. So the word is going out now that, hey, this could have been an infected man. Maybe you should get yourself checked out. I should say, though, it's been a couple of weeks uh, since this event happened, so you would think people who might have gotten sick right. would already be symptomatic and know that. You would think. This yeah. story just... It's, un it's just unreal. Where is it leading next? I'm sure I'll be seeing you again soon. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Chris, thank you. All right.